Hi, my name is Robert Garcia, right-hander pitcher from Mexico City, and today I'm going to show you how I throw all my pitches. The 0-2. They have two errors. Get going offensively for the Canes. The pitch to Kemp. 0-2. Swung on and missed strike three. Robert Garcia gets out of the jam, and if that's his day, what a day it was. Robert Garcia, seven innings, no runs, one hit. To start, I'm going to show you how I throw my, my four seam fastball. So I just grab it four seam, and on purpose, on the purpose of this video, I'm going to throw it straight in the middle of this tire. Here we go. Four seam fastball. The 0-2, swing and a miss, and there's the fastball at 91, right over the outside corner, and Robert Garcia strikes out the side in the bottom of the second. We go to the third time. I throw my sinker. Now I want to talk a little the difference between a two-seam and a sinker, because a lot of pitchers, they say I throw a sinker, but they actually just throw a two-seam fastball. So a two-seam fastball is simple, a fastball with a two-seam grip. A sinker, you actually put in pressure on your finger to create that, that uh, down and in movement. I'm a right-handed pitcher, so I, I want that movement. So this is the grip, how I grip my sinker. If you can see here, I'm putting the pressure on this finger and here. And this finger doesn't do anything. So I just thinking, straight fastball straight fastball and the key on the sinker is never pass your nose and have a good release point so i want to throw the sinker right in the middle so my objective is to throw the ball right on the middle so it naturally has that movement down and in let's go sinker pretty good uh, dispersion or Variance on the uh, velocity, Garcia. See the fastball, upper 80s. He can touch 90. The breaking ball though comes in at 80. One and two count. Here's the pitch. Popped up out of place and he got a piece of it. Stays alive at one and two. And there's 90 on the fastball. They have two errors. It's not helped them either. My best pitch, and that's my changeup. This is how I grip, a four seam grip. And the key of this pitch is to put the pressure here, here, and on, on these three fingers. On my mind, I'm trying to throw it as hard in the middle of the top tire. But the objective of this pitch is to have that drop. So I want to hit the bottom tire. Here we go. Started 15 games as a freshman at Auburn. Talented player looking to get going offensively for the Canes. Swing and a miss, strike three. Six pitches, six strikes, two outs for Robert Garcia. 13 consecutive batters have been retired. Struck out five of the last nine he's faced. It's just another curveball. It's not a strike. Pitch that's tough to lay off of because you see that one. 0 2 count. Swing and a miss. Another strikeout for Garcia. That's eight. And again, that's at 84. And it doesn't really look like a slider. It's just like a heavy fastball that just falls off the table talking that thing is knee high in the front of the plate and buried in the ground before the catcher can field it that is a late breaking sharp pitch how i throw my curveball now this is the grip it's a four seam grip but the key here is the pressure again on the finger so i want the pressure on this finger here and here and this finger doesn't do anything so i'm going to think a fastball, 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 and when I'm here, I'm going to do a karate shot boom, as fast as possible. Now, I'm going to aim to the top of the tire. 
So I want to have that drop just in the table or below the, the bottom tire. Okay, here we go. Curveball. It's all coming up Sydney. The pitch to camp and pitch. <laughs> 66 <laughs> miles an hour. <laughs> You know, so the last time, um, his first pitch offering, he was went on that fastball and it just... It's a big difference. I mean, it dropped 30, <laughs> almost 30 miles an hour off it. And you can tell, obviously, Kemp, was, what, he was, what he was pitching and what he was waiting for, compared to the pitch that he got, were two different things. I mean, one's coming in at 91, 92 miles an hour, and that one just dropped in there and flopped in there at 66. So... For me, the slider, I grab it again, two seams similar to my curveball, but actually I, I put the same pressure here, here, and here, but the grip is a little different. My curveball is here, my slider is here. Slider. And has been hovering around there ever since. Swing and a miss, and Garcia with back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the second inning. Now four strikeouts for the right-hander. You know, a lot of these right-handers in the lineup, I think right now, again, until you see otherwise, you got to think middle away because you're seeing breaking balls right there. There's a pull swing from your catch a love lady. I'm going to pull that ball out in front. Got to go up there thinking it's not a lot. And now Garcia has got Bukowski right where he wants him. He can go a number of different ways here. He can elevate a fastball. Risky to bounce one with a runner on third. 0-2. Oh, Swung on and missed strike three. Robert Garcia gets out of the jam, and if that's his day, what a day it was. Robert Garcia, seven innings, no runs, one hit, gets out of the bases loaded jam, 5 nothing Panthers through seven. That was Robert Showtime Garcia. I had the opportunity to meet him at Top Velocity. He went to a camp there for the weekend and stayed for a few months, made some huge gains over there in Louisiana at Top Velocity. And we kept in touch and he made this video for you guys to show you his pitches so you can learn from them and steal them, try to use them and be a great pitcher like Robert. So thank you so much, Robert. Please, if you're watching this video, go follow him on Instagram. I'll leave all his information down below. He's on Facebook and uh, Instagram. I think Snapchat, all the other social medias. I'll leave all the information down below where you can check it out. Thank you again so much. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. If you want to see more Pitching Grips videos, let me know. Comment down below. Let me know what you want to see. Thanks, guys.